a pretty beautiful evening because it's pretty late and the sun's still out. Anyways, I thought I'd show you what you missed today for not coming to the park with me. Look at that. And look at that over there. Alright, I'm going to run back home. In about a minute. I want to enjoy this first. So the other night, Lisette and I, well, really early, like about four in the morning, we woke up to a really loud noise and we could not tell what it was or what had happened, but we figured it must have been some kind of an accident right outside of our house. And check this out. Knocked over a tree. And there are like car parts. There are car parts all over the place. Yeah, so the problem is that this is US 1 and it's a really busy street. I mean, just now, check this out. Look at, look at this guy coming on that lane over there. He thinks this is a speedway. And that's nothing. At night, we hear the motorcycles and the race cars and all those things zip through here probably, you know, well over 100 miles per hour. I don't know, pretty crazy. This is the part where I walk for a little bit. Oh. It's awesome. And I gotta run all the way back home. much as I enjoy these runs, I really enjoy having Lisette coming out here and walking while, while I jog. But she's got to get some rest because it's going to be a long day tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, see you later man. That's a really dangerous road to try to cross. So, all right, uh, that was so worth it. I'm in a little bit of pain, but I think I'll be all right. I'm really glad I, I decided to go for this run. Whew. So I figure I'd vlog a little bit while I cool down. Moral of this story, just do the things you want to do. It's no excuse. Whew. Yeah, just we're the only ones that keep ourselves from doing the things we really want to do.